In this video, we will practice uh, proving algebraically whether functions are even, odd, or neither. Um, now notice, we can tell at a glance whether or not these functions would be have even, odd, or neither type of symmetry. Um, simply, if all of the exponents are even, then the graph will have even symmetry. If all the exponents are odd, then we're looking at odd symmetry. If there's a mixture of even and odd exponents, then it's going to be neither. Um, but that's not a proof. Uh, however, it will help us to know ahead of time what the answers are. So let's um, think about that. So looking at number 10, I see um, an even and an odd exponent. That's a mixture. So this is going to be neither. All right, let's just put a little n here to remind me that this is neither. All right, so we'll come back to the algebraic proof in a second. Looking at this one, I see 4 and 2. Those are both even, so this is going to be even. All right, we'll come back and prove that in a second. Um, looking at number 12, 5 and 3, these are both odd. Okay, so that's going to be odd. Okay, um, looking at number 13. I see a power of 4, and then plain x is like x to the 1 power. So that's even and odd. That's a mixture, so this is going to be back to neither again. All right, so we know the answer is ahead of time. But to prove it, here's what you have to do. Um, in addition to the original function, we need to generate two additional functions. We need to find the opposite function, which is negative f of x. Got to figure out what that is. And we need to find um, the function f of negative x. In other words, what do you get when you plug in negative x? All right, and the bottom line is this. Um, if, uh, how do I say this? If f of negative x, all right, this function that we get um, if that turns out to equal the original function, okay, which is called f of x, obviously. So if it equals the uh, original function, then that means it is even. Okay, that we will have proven it. Um, on the other hand, if f of x, I'm sorry, if f of negative x equals the opposite function, okay, which is what you get if you put a negative in front of everything. All right, so if it equals negative f of x, then that proves that it is an odd function. Okay, obviously if f of negative x doesn't equal either one of these, then that's when it's going to be neither. All right, so since it's all about checking to see um, if f of x equals the original function or the odd function, we need to make sure that we have, um, I'm sorry, I said the odd function, the negative function. We need to always create the negative function and f of negative x and see what matches what. Okay, so, so every single time we are going to generate the opposite function. You get the opposite function just by changing all the signs. So this is going to be negative x to the fourth power and negative x to the third power. All right, that's the opposite function. Um, now, let's take a look at f of negative x and see what happens. Um, so that would mean I'm plugging in negative x. So I've got negative x to the fourth power and negative x to the third power. Now when you raise a negative number to an even power, the negative goes away. Okay, so this is just going to be x to the fourth power. Um, but when you do a negative number to an odd power, the negative stays around. So this is just going to wind up being negative x to the third power. Now I'm looking back to see if this uh, matches the original function or the opposite function. And it doesn't match either one. 
Um, so we can make our conclusion statement and say since f of negative x does not equal um, the original function or the opposite function, um, it is neither. All right, meaning neither even nor odd. Okay, so um, you have to show all this work. All right, I'm going to give you a certain number. If I'm grading your test, I'm giving you a certain number of points for the for the red, certain number of points for the blue, and a certain number of points for the purple. Okay, let's do it again. Now we know it's going to turn out to be even, so just watch out for that. So I'm going to do this one a little faster. First, we create the opposite function. So we find the function negative f of x. And you just change the sign. So this will be negative x to the fourth power, negative x squared. All right, next you find the function f of negative x. All right, in other words, the function you get if you plug in negative x. All right, an even power makes a negative go away. So this will just be x to the fourth power, and this negative will go away. So it will be plus x squared. All right, notice that um, f of negative x is the same as the original function. All right, these are identical. Um, so that's what you put in your summary statement. You say since um, f of negative x equals the original function, which is called f of x, um, it is even. Okay, just like we thought. All right, what about number 12? Now we know ahead of time that is going to be odd, but now we got to prove it. So we start by writing the opposite function above. So negative f of x is going to equal negative x to the fifth power minus x to the third power. All right, that's the opposite function. All right, now we do f of negative x. So we plug in negative x everywhere. All right, odd powers. Um, the negative stays. So I'm going to have f of negative x equals negative x to the fifth power minus x to the third power. The negatives don't go anywhere when you do the odd power. Um, now, look how this blue function matches the red function. In other words, um, for our closing statement, we will say since f of negative x equals the opposite function, negative f of x, it is odd. Okay, just like we thought. All right, one more time. Um, this one should turn out to be neither. Okay, so once again, we create the n opposite function, negative f of x which should equal negative 3x to the fourth power plus 4x. All right, I'm just changing both of these signs. So that red there is the opposite function. Now it's time to find f of negative x. So this would be 3, and I've got negative x to the fourth power, then minus 4 times negative x. All right. This even power makes this negative go away. So I just have 3x to the fourth power. This really doesn't have a power at all. So this negative isn't going anywhere. So I've got a negative times a negative, which is a positive. So this will be positive 4x. Um, let's see. 
this does not quite match the original function because this is negative and this is positive. But it doesn't match the opposite function either because this is negative and this is positive. So it doesn't match either one. Um, so that's why it's going to be neither. So for our closing statement, we will say um, since f of negative x does not equal the original function or the opposite function, um, it is neither. All right, meaning neither even nor odd symmetry.